like going on this little last plane. This is not nice at all. So today is my first day in Barbados and I'm really excited to go on the road because I came last night very late and I just want to see what the road looks like and how similar it is to Jamaica. So I'm in downtown Barbados, I believe, Bridgetown, or I'm near Bridgetown. <laughs> but yeah, I do find it similar to downtown Jamaica except these roads are much cleaner than ours we have a lot of vendors on our roads as you can see there isn't any vendor i understand though that there's a market down the left to where we're driving um but yeah the market is not everywhere like in like or jamaica you know our roads are or downtown has like a lot of vendors and as you notice there's a this a bike crew and we do have our own bike crew in jamaica but anyway i pull up at this restaurant for breakfast as you can see it's called blush cafe i didn't do a lot of videos but i did take a lot of pictures so i'm just showing you my pictures that i took i actually did not plan to vlog this any at all so i'm just showing you guys the little clips that i took while i was there i just wanted to relax on vacation for once they made me this nice cup of chocolate hot chocolate and very creative Anyway, I didn't have a lot to eat because I planned to have lunch or brunch, if you want to call it, shortly after. Which I did. I went to this restaurant called the Sea Shed. It's awesome. The food, oh my gosh, spectacular. I had octopus. I don't remember what the other thing was, but the food was amazing. There go some other pictures of what I took. And now, I'm on day two. So day two, I just went to this cafe and I had um, my egg sandwich and some coffee. Um... It's funny how they did my egg. They gave me boiled egg in a sandwich. I must say, I never expected that. I've never went to a cafe and they gave me boiled egg in a sandwich. But I guess maybe that's a normal thing. You guys can tell me in the comment section. But anyway, I went back to my villa and I slept for the rest of the evening until I got bored. And then I decided I was going to go for a walk by the beach club to just relax and chill for the rest of the evening. Hey guys, I said that I wasn't going to vlog. So I didn't bring my vlog stick and I'm here at the beach club and I'm hungry so I'm finished I'm gonna go have to, I'm gonna gonna I'm gonna have to walk to try to find food somewhere anywhere life of a tourist it really just dawned on me that tomorrow is my last day here yeah but I have some things planned so that's good then it's legit like <laughs> last day here shit so today's my second day here so it's legit three days so I'm gonna see if I can get some food so I pull up at this spot it was like a grill spot and um, I got a sandwich. Unfortunately, I didn't take a picture of it. But yeah, it was quite reasonable. It was a dolphin sandwich. It was good though. So now, I'm just basically getting ready to go out. I'm supposed to be going out. Like, to eat. And maybe to a spot or two. Just to get a glimpse of the nightlife here, I guess. If you want to put it that way. So I went to this restaurant. I absolutely don't remember the name. People who are in Barbados, maybe you can drop in the comment section which restaurant this is. I don't remember. As I said, I was just here to have fun and relax. I wasn't on no vlog, vlogging. Y'all must know this restaurant. Drop in the comment section and tell me what it is. So this is downstairs, that restaurant. And they have a lot of nice stores there. And then I went to this spot as well by the beach. I don't remember the name of it. It was like a, a bar slash restaurant, but it was very nice. Anyway, <laughs> I'm on day three, my last day, as I said. The only thing I actually vlogged a little bit was this day. And that's because I actually wanted to vlog my room tour. Good morning, everyone. Thank you for to come closer to me. Thank you.
Yeah. You guys call it custard apples? Yeah. Yeah, exactly. But we call it mummy apple here in Barbados. Is it? Call it it almost looks like an Eastbury. Right, okay. It's kind of, it's very fleshy and sweet on the inside. Is it white in color? Um, almost peach. It's like, we've got our molasses and we have our yeast. This particular yeast is for coffee characteristics. Do not get this on your clothing because it's very hard to get it out. Mm. Oh. Oh. Like I said guys, I never really plan to vlog this trip so some of these footages as you will see are very close up and that's because they were filmed in a portrait and not landscape but I actually widened them so that they could fit to my YouTube channel. Just to give you guys a little summary of my trip, I hope you can appreciate it. So this is when we're in the facility or where they actually make the rum and they show us the distilling process i think yeah but it was quite interesting because i did a wine tour if you guys remember on my canadian vlog where i did a wine tour so it was really good to have a little comparison even though one is wine and one is rum but yeah You're gonna swallow what's in your mouth and start to blow ear out. Just ear. Not saliva, not rum, just ear. Big breath until it feels better. So swish, 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 swallow and start to blow. I promise I'm not doing it to make you look crazy. There's a reason behind my madness. Warm glass, warm spirits open up the aromas and flavors even more. All I can say is that rum was strong. Def very different from the wine taste. <laughs> from the wine taste. Or <laughs> sorry but yeah afterwards um went around the island and here is actually called Bathsheba I actually know somebody named I met somebody named Bathsheba before and I never I always thought what kind of name is that but then now I saw where it came from because I didn't know there was a Bathsheba a place called Bathsheba but anyway this is me just exploring and the water was beautiful it was so serene and nice and if you know me i love the beach i love water so i actually really enjoyed the time here and this place actually has a nice little restaurant i guess which is why we came here to really have some food and i guess this is somewhat like an attraction for a lot of people a lot of people drive from one end of the island to this spot to get the good food then if you want to put it that way but yeah i didn't take a picture of my meal or a video of my meal just myself <laughs> <laughs> unfortunately but i had escovitch fish anyway it was time for dinner and really and truly we wanted to go to the cliff but we ended up going to our restaurant near um opposite the cliff they're actually in the same spot it's called um qp bistro it was very nice i loved it here and i actually sat right on the cliff so I could see every single thing I saw the sunset I saw the big fishes in the water everything it was just absolutely beautiful yeah so there you go more pictures <laughs> and more videos taking up my phone but it was it was everything I could think of and there goes a big fish these fish were huge guys huge never seen anything like them before at least not so close to civilization. Usually you have to go deep fishing to see these kind of big fish in Jamaica. So that's the end of my night and I had to wake up very early. 2 a.m. to be exact in order to catch my flight. If so early, yeah, but got to the airport, it was empty. But I didn't mind at all because to me that just means that I wouldn't have a hassle to get on my flight. So I'd be out of there in a minute. So it's three. What time now? tree something tree 40 in the a.m and i'm hungry i'm trying to get forward please open yes yes it's open let's go in here okay i'll get some way i don't see anybody there's anybody here Someone eventually came up, but they were only able to serve me hot chocolate because apparently the breakfast wasn't going to be ready until like six o'clock. Ladies and gentlemen, shortly, Captain may switch off the fasten seatbelt sign. 
First one seeing the sunrise and that also has to do with our altitude as well. So that's a fun fact to um, share with your family and friends and maybe you can take a picture of the sunrise. Anyway, it's time to go back home. My home misses me and I miss my home. Well, no, I don't miss my home. If you know me, I love traveling. So, nope, I didn't miss home at all. But, you know, you have to go back to reality. Anyway, guys, thanks for watching this video. If you haven't checked out the other vlog of my Airbnb tour in Barbados, please go and check it out. I'll put it in the description below. If you haven't subscribed to my channel and you're watching this, please remember to subscribe to my channel. Watch my other videos until I post the next one. And yeah, see you next time, guys. Bye.